Okay, just spinning off a simple little uh, three times 28 gauge core alien with uh, 37 gauge um, 316L uh, stainless steel fusing. Um, this is my pretty straightforward uh, pre stretch and load it up with Legos and go to it. I don't know if you can tell from the angle, but I am holding the fuse wire approximately five to seven degrees forward of 90 degrees. Um, I'm actually now bringing it back a little bit because I noticed that right where is it? I don't know if you can see it, but right in here, I got a little wider space than I wanted. Not a big deal, but when you do your Legos, only slide them about two inches, three inches. You can slide them farther. You'll you'll get your feel for it and you'll get better at it. But um, I recommend keeping them as uh, you know as close to your uh, what your work is as possible. Um, the less chance they have to stretch out, the better. And remember, when you stretch your fuse wire, you can never, if you overstretch it, you're done for. If you understretch it a little bit, especially with higher gauge fusing, like if I'm going to use a 40 gauge to fuse, I severely understretch it, and then I just let my uh, fuse fingers, I use the tension of that to let it unstretch a little bit as it goes. And uh, that seems to work. And there's always two schools of thought. I seem to think that once you get your rhythm, uh, spinning it faster allows for a smoother lay down of your fuse than if you lay it down slower. Uh, the biggest hurdle is getting over the starting and stopping it. You know, um, readjusting and getting your tensions back right again, but you'll figure it all out. Like It's just like anything else that takes practice. The thing with aliens are um, they can be rather frustrating at first and you'll burn through a lot of wire and sometimes like you'll just say, you know, I've had enough of this. I'm not going to do aliens anymore. Let me see if I back this up a little. Will it actually like, I don't know doesn't just seem like it, I don't understand, it wanted to focus, I think it's like focusing on me or something, but hopefully you guys will get the idea here, like I say, this is just a, a basic beginner alien wrap tutorial, I didn't show you the prep work, but that's pretty easy, I mean, you take your three cores, you straighten them, and then, you know, if you're using only three cores, that are 28 gauge then your decor will also be 28 gauge and let's say you were using uh, 14 inches or something of uh, cores you'd probably want to use 18 19 maybe 20 inches of uh, of uh, decor wire um, you want to use more, you know, maybe about a third more than what your finished product is going to be. And uh, that math is, I mean, I've been able to squeeze it to where I can use the same amount of fuse length as I did my core length. And it, 
just comes out, but I mean, if you make a little hiccup here or there, you know, maybe you don't like the first little bit of yours. Some people, it takes them a while to get going with the fuse, too. Like, with me, because I've been doing Alien so long, like, right from my very first fuse, it was okay. So, in this case, I'll get this whole stick fun. And, just so you know, let's see. Oh, are you not even seeing where I'm fusing anymore? <laughs> just so you know, um, the tension I'm holding, as you can see, not much. I'm really just letting this fuse wire slide through my hands with minimal tension. And that is because I pre-stretched it to its full length. The pre-stretch thing is another thing, like, it's trial and error, you'll get it by feel, but a good rule of thumb is you want your decor to look like a perfect spiral, okay? When you, if you were to look down it, you'd almost want it to look like a perfect spiral. Uh, you don't want any, like, you don't want more of a oblong wave, you want a perfect, you want your, your peaks and valleys to be almost identical um and that are some of the many secrets to a decent alien um i hope that my poor quality videoing and bad narration uh help you as much as they can and uh when you're done here, like like I say, everybody has a different method. Some people, even on three cores, they use hot glue. Here, I'm going to show you what I do to make, see, like on a three core, I don't know if you can see it, but I make like a triangle. One, one core, go, one core, they're each bent in an L. I hold them all three, bend them in an L at once, and then I turn them into this way, this way, and this way, like a peace sign. And that way they go in the three slots of the chuck. Now, some people just bend them all in an L and put them in one slot of the chuck, but that tends to keep your rig off center. And, you know, if you're going above three cores, like five, six, seven, nine cores, you really don't want to do that. Um, another thing with aliens, and this is something, I don't know if everybody does this. It seems like most of the folks that are like selling them and doing them professionally are doing it. But whenever you wrap an alien, you're going to have a side that has like a little ditch to it. And then you're going to have a side that's going to have more of a convex curve. The convex curve, you're going to want to be to the inside of your coil. You're going to want that little ditch on the outside of your coil because that little ditch is going to help catch juice. And personally, I think that's part of the, uh, the allure of the alien. Um, sometimes when you get finer gauge wires it's harder to tell which side is which but I do believe let's see I do believe I've got it <laughs> and then of course when you're doing things like say a four core I do things called like a flat four and what I mean by that is I literally um, use four cores, but I flatten them with pliers before I wrap them. And the reason I do that is because, one, you get more surface area. I generally will stagger my fuse when I do those, right? So there's, instead of there being the little ditch like we just talked about, there's going to be plenty of room with those little staggers between each fuse wrap. And so, as long as you have a few different areas where your juice heats up, some slower, some faster, those are called heating zones. Let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, you know, the more heating zones you get, I always try to go for three. 
um, the more flavor you're going to get. Like a fused Clapton, like with just two cores and then a standard gauge fuse, that's going to have two heating zones. You're going to have the speed of your uh, higher resistance wire being your fuse wire, which is going to heat up extremely fast, and then your core wire is going to heat up a bit slower. Um, you know, there is nothing wrong with a fused Clapton, and in fact, I like a quad core fused Clapton for a number of things. Um, if I was better at making staggered fuse Claptons, I would probably just make the hell out of those because they vape killer. Um, with my bad eyes, I seem to have a hard time with the uh, um, the staggering. You know, I can do the initial stagger, but then when it's time to fuse in between the uh, staggered single Clapton cores. That's where old Fozzie runs into some trouble. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I was going for a slightly higher ohm because I'm going to be using this on a single battery regulated mod, and I'm kind of hoping to vape around 60 or 65 watts, and uh, that's why I went with a six wrap, uh, you know, 28 gauge core. Uh, Alien, I'm hoping to get around 0.19 or 0.20 out of it, and uh, that should be just about perfect. But anyway, folks, thanks for uh, paying attention. If you paid attention, <laughs> let's see, they'll probably never zoom in, but there they are, just some simples. Um, next, I'm going to do, my next video is going to be like something really complex, like my new Raelians, which are all round core Fralians. I know it kind of, kind of goes against the term Fralian, because we're not using, like, we're not using ribbon, we're just using, like, say, 26 gauge round wire, and then maybe... 29 gauge uh, inner like center cores um, but it gives the same idea of thicker frames and then like a nice ditch for your flavor um, and the alien fuse lays down really nice um, and then of course the juggernaut framed alien which is like one of my personal favorites that's actually a three core alien that is framed in 27 slash 42 gauge and 90 and uh, then the whole thing the alien then the two frames are then wrapped in 0 0.3 316L uh, ribbon to make the old juggernaut fuse um, but yeah hit me up uh, on Instagram at Fozzie's underscore coil underscore co and then obviously here subscribe to YouTube it's uh, 420 Fozzie Bear and uh, yeah give us a subscribe and make sure you click the little bell so that uh, when new videos come up you're notified alright guys thanks for watching keep on vaping peace